So we've always said that Osborne's goal is to transform prisons for the people that live in them, work in them, and visit them. And it's our core philosophy about the future is that people live their lives consistent with the future they see for themselves. Every time. You do, our participants do. And so not only do people have a future, apparently buildings do too. So think of this building. Think if these walls can talk. Think of all of the things that have, have transpired here. And so we take that, and as we move forward, think of all the great things that these walls are going to be able to say with the help of all of you here. When you're talking about a visionary project, the idea of taking a prison, much like they take people, and bring them back, and make sure that they are respected, that they are rebuilt, that they are remade. So the future Fulton is a work in progress. We are committed to providing transitional housing, workforce development, job training, job creation, a home for Osborne social enterprises, our honeybees on the roof, our catering business in the kitchen, our furniture business, and other services that benefit those returning to jail and prison. It takes heroes to make these things happen. It takes heroes to make this happen. It is a demonstration, first of all, to Liz Gaines, who in fact is amazing and would not stop. She would not stop. I presume she could have said, we'll take it all and just do our own thing. She says, no, we're gonna involve that community because by doing that, we involve those individuals who come here with the community that they're returning to. It is so uplifting and so positive to be part of this process, the Bronx community welcoming offenders and the Osborne Association. And now for the pièce de résistance. <laughs> Before I officially hand you the key to this facility, <laughs> this is the only key we have. Do not lose it. We do not want to be the first woman arrested for trying to break into a place. <laughs> Thank